Here's your host, Sean Bond. Hello. I hope everyone had a pleasant uh, few weeks. Um, I didn't, uh, but <laughs> I'm feeling better now. Um, how, how have you been, JP? <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah, um, uh, more or less the same. You know, it's been... It, well, uh, the last show, Rebecca was talking about these waves that are, that are coming from the Galactic Center, and I'm sure that part of the illnesses that we're experiencing is this clearing that is going on of, of all the of our um, unprocessed energy. It, you know, it's, it's time to process it all, all at one go, and it's often very unpleasant. And uh, I, it, you know, I, I went back to, you know, I think everybody's got their like default. Um, disease. You know, I had a, a stomach ulcer um, God, was 20 years ago, um, and that's that's where I get affected. You know, so it's like my default disease, and it, that, that, that's what comes up. And I suppose, you know, when we talk energetically, it's like that's my default chakra that's uh, that's malfunctioning, if you like, or overfunctioning, maybe. Mm, yeah. Uh, disease is always like an indicator that, uh, hey, you're, you're getting hit hard in like l- large amounts of ways. Take, uh, stop everything you're doing. Heal. It's needed. Uh, if you do it and you learn from it and you grow and make it, you can prevent it from happening as much uh, again. Or it could be like a, a big targeting out of nowhere. It could uh, like actually have to do with uh, bacterial stuff. Uh, or it could be like a big, um, higher layered problem, such as, uh, most, uh, besides physical stuff, emotional, mental, and even spiritual problems bleeding over into the now, um, even from other versions of ourselves. So, uh, yeah, default, uh, that's a good way to put it. Um, it's kind of like describing our most common state of being when we're we're uh, lowered to that uh, state of vulnerability by whatever is incurring that brings us to a point where we realize we need to heal now. <coughs> oh, man. Something's triggering <laughs> to cough. I can feel it um, based on what we're going to talk about on the show. Okay. So th- this will be fun. Uh, I've l- I learned a whole bunch of stuff while I was... Uh, Getting um, targeted by this weapon, um, because I can uh, read uh, bacteria and DNA, and um, where uh, the every bacterial uh, uh, microflora or virus, uh, fungus, uh, um, um, bacterial phage, uh, all, uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. has a record and history to it and pass down memories, libraries of information. Uh, th- believe it or not, skill sets, um, and habit patterns and all these different programs besides what's physically seen, uh, they have light body, uh, <coughs> memory. Um, um, H, let's see, we got. Okay, something here. I'm, I'm going to try to take care of this big thing, but like, uh, where? How would you describe the symptoms of your ulcer? We're also going to tune into that, and as an example, because that'll probably help a lot of people going through the same thing. I'm going to tune into this thing now. Oh, okay. um, um, that's attacking. Sometimes, <laughs> if if, if uh, you know when you got um, when you uh, drunk some. Um, a Pepsi or you know some some carbonated beverage, uh, uh, something fizzy, uh, that it kind of swells up your stomach a bit. Um, yeah. Imagine that that pressure is like, or it feels like it's too it's too much for your stomach, and it feels like your stomach's going to explode. And then uh, you increase the heat on that, and then you add some panic. Because you know that this is going to hurt, <coughs> right? So you bring all those together, and that's the kind of feeling that it is. It's like uh, I don't like this. I've been here before, um, 
and you know I don't really want to feel this feeling. In fact, that's probably <laughs> how many people feel have those thoughts as well. You know, that I don't like this feeling, and I don't want to be here, uh, uh, and everything like that. That's the the essence of denial, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So I'm getting a whole bunch of st- things that are coming up from this uh, in symptoms of effect as well as causation that we can track back. Uh, it even has a life. I think you were like, okay, one second. Okay, so, like, uh, you know the cru- Crusades, uh, where the armies went around and killed and took property and, uh, yeah. So, you had a version of yourself that was stabbed in the gut, um, that carried on this spiritual curse that was, like, put on, uh, all the wounded from uh, the battle of the soldiers that had, like, energetic rituals done on them to carry a curse that would affect the, the ones that they killed. Um, and this is also reoccurring. Uh, yeah, I really, I really agree with that. There's, I've always felt like I've been um, hurt with something that is not physical here. But at some other time, it like um, some charge to it. There's there's some charge to this uh, this this thing. It wasn't just a piece of iron. Yes, and then there's like uh, something trying to target that uh, uh, in patterns that affect multiple versions of you in stomach trauma. Uh, targeting that organ as well as the bladder and the the intestines um okay so we'll go into looking at all the incursions back doors and getting rid of the self-defeating programs the build-up uh because it also has to do with the stomach and how uh it produces acids and the layering uh, of the cell walls that uh hold the a- acid um and how well it's programmed to not uh overdo it or what it can take in resiliency, because uh, you do have genetic lines you can activate that increase the strength of your stomach lining. It's about three, and we can go into those. We'll look into that, and let's see what else. Okay, the pH balance is off, too. I'm not sure your diet helps with that, but um, I'm also getting that it's, isn't just your diet that's uh, affecting your pH to make it more acidic. Let's see. There's a bunch of energetic reasons, too, that are trying to bring into that state. Uh, And then, okay, so we're targeting that. And then also light body problems with your solar plexus. Ooh, you just had a whole bunch um, of attempts to steal your light bodies for your solar plexus um, and you got them all back so good job except for three and then you're bringing that down so it was much worse uh, I think when it flared up uh, was it about the time something was trying to steal them from you uh, then ooh your par- okay your paradox stuff um, is also coming up in this so your wounds as a time traveler, uh, paradox wise, most of the paradoxes in your bodies, uh, in your, uh, in your body that's overlaid with your multiple spectrums of uh, energetic body technology is center pointed in your heart and your, your solar plexus. It's mainly, and then you start uh, accessing the technology of the wound of the paradox, which can be, uh, a limiter and it can be programmed depends on the, who or how the paradox is uh, put on to you, either through your own actions or targeting, because there's beings that know the technology and um, also, like, influence beings into situations to get them. Um, and it usually has to do with, like, splitting uh, 
parts of themselves to exist uh, simultaneously uh, that should that would be like versions of you as the I am presence in the now which isn't supposed to happen so like we can go into the I am I am's of the now that are the the ones that are claiming to be the I am of you uh, which only you should be the I am of you and you reclaiming your sovereignty and all that so let's see how many versions of you <sighs> okay like a lot of versions of you are claiming to be the I am so we're going to start getting them out of competition and bringing them to into unity and ah, you know this is this is all. a meme that came up in the last show as well Sean you know who is the I is who is the I in the, the, the different realities here I am but you know I that, that this is who I think is me, but uh, who's carrying the I am presence? That's the one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, there's a lot of things trying to bring down our sovereignty every day uh, when we're not checking, especially. It kind of just builds up, and we we kind of change our personality slowly. So well, this will be good into lessening how much impact um, things in your environment will be able to trigger your sovereignty down through these back doors of uh, things claiming that they're the I am besides just versions of yourself beings also wanting to be the I am that are interacting with you in some way. Uh, so we're going to start that process. through And I'm also going to help you heal that spiritual wound for the gut. Um, let's see. Okay, so like back uh, while we we're talking about this problem, I was also able to take care of uh, the thing that was trying to target the show for revealing certain information that isn't well known by almost anyone. Uh, do you want to talk about that? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. This oh, is what yeah. this is what we're here for. We we're, we're here to kind of peel apart the pith of the uh, of the universe and reveal what is uh, what is hiding beneath the skin mm. <laughs> I like that okay so I when I uh, I was gonna have the show before and I was I got, after our last show I got like a huge targeting uh, in sickness and I was able to track back of the bacteria where they came from. They're not just like normal uh, bacteria. They've been genetically augmented, which usually points to military or another species, usually military. Military pumps out a lot of viruses. Um, they're not all uh, aimed at death uh, or uh, whatever. Uh, you know, s slow kills is another word for it, or it it's... They will target different beings uh, based on who they are, what they have in their genetics, who they are in spirit, and limit them. Even if the the people that are performing actions don't really know why they're doing it other than, oh, it's somehow making it, the world better by uh, lessening the population. Um, very misleading and doesn't show the whole thing. So... Most of the viruses being pumped out by the military are aimed at targeting the individual and attaching the virus's DNA to the host. So it's to create a backdoor that will create a chest move based on the programming of the virus for the immune system or lessening the person's immune system, their ability to function. Uh, their health in general, psionic abilities is a big thing that, that they're blocking with viruses. Going back even before our, uh, the military, like with the Black Plague and all these other um, plagues and viruses that are introduced into our history and then found their way into our genetic pool and then passed down through the infected cells that uh, replicate over time. If they can somehow continue that down into lineage, though, um, not oftentimes will the, it be passed from uh, person down unless it's a very well-made virus. 
Um, anyway, so there's that, uh, and it can be passed down in light body. Hey, Sean, we might have lost you. Are you there? Mm, yeah, technical stuff. Yeah. Right when I was getting the good part, right? Sorry. Right. For that. This is, this is coming up to, uh, to the, to, to the, you know, the running, the idling, um, not the idling speed, but the, uh, cruising speed. So, you, you started off talking about the, uh, a sort of weaponized bacteria thing. Yeah. That's why. Uh, so yeah, let, let's hope we don't get any more interference. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, viruses that are genetically programmed to attach to the host and transfer DNA for some type of programming system, anchoring backdoor, the virus may be haunted, uh, all this kind of stuff. Think of like, uh, all, all bacteria have, uh, light body spirit that are anchored into them through they usually will have one spirit in a collective that uh reaches into everything that bred and continue to replicate um as bodies and they can sometimes be walked in on and changed in and interact in spiritual commerce with other beings as they uh do that most people if they're trying to gain control of their body and then be at the peak of the sovereignty of their body, anything in your body uh, comes under that umbrella. It's kind of like if you were to see yourself as planet Earth. Uh, yeah, the people uh, the people on your surface have their own individual sovereignty. Every bacteria has that. But um, they're on your planet kind of thing, and they have to deal with that. And... Um, um, uh, entangle with the stuff you entangle with and your authority has a little bit higher interaction with you and you kind of got to go, uh, the bacteria got to go along with that. You can, they can either, the host can either do that in a dominating way, a lazy way where they don't even pay attention to their bacteria or care about them or become in symbiotic unity with them, which most people aren't. Even if they, they meditate all the time, they have to like, uh, focus on that intently and go through the entire mystery school of it. Uh, and it takes a while. Uh, but everyone can do it. And let's see. Uh, so, uh, yeah, vaccines. Uh, yeah, uh, so I've been going into the healing of all the damage, uh, that the ones that I've gotten have done, which is pretty dramatic. Uh, I have vaccines on this timeline as well as uh, through the temporal um, dilation, visitation, and my lab experiences that I have. Uh, so I have to go through all the things that are injected into me and used as a backdoor to limit me. They put a lot of stuff in there, um, a lot of viruses, bacteria, fungi. This, like prions goes into the, the whole... Um, uh, in flipped, uh, inverted, uh, proteins that, uh, proteinaceous infectious ions, which go into the whole mad cow disease, Alzheimer's, and even the zombie virus thing, uh, in the biohazard level five. Though, so, you know, uh, they're, uh, not incurable, um, it's, there's a whole thing to it, uh, healing proteins and, uh, that are programmed to replicate themselves, uh, voraciously, um, especially in, like, the brain area and stuff. So, you know, everything can be solved, uh, e even <laughs> if you're injected full of mercury and formaldehyde and, uh, all these different things that stimulate autoimmune disease. Uh, it can all be uh, seen psionically and stimulated to be detoxed or taken care of through various means that we have at our disposal, though uh, there's quite a bit that we'd have to, if anyone wanted to learn it themselves, to be able to get to that point again so I can help with that with people. 
uh, if they're trying to unblock themselves and have been like vaccinated and this, like remember them being maybe very intuitive as a kid and then all that starting to stop. And there's a lot of things with that. So we can go into that. Uh, the, there's like, uh, energy parasites that are anchored into physical ba- bacteria and viruses and stuff that then enter the body through s- various methods, such as like through vaccinations or whatever. Think of also like, uh, spirits that are more sentient, that are hive minded, uh, spread out between a whole cluster of bacteria that are, tr- um, traveling through Water, wind, the environment spreading out, um, interacting symbolically or parasitically with other forms that are used as carriers for their migration to other places and those lineages surviving through the eons of time and connecting to the libraries in observation technology. Think of it also like in Game of Thrones, like the Warg technology where Brandon Stark's able to um, remote experience into another animal and perceive through their eyes. Same uh, thing with the bacteria, though. The eyes thing isn't what you're using. You're using the sensing body. Um, as a biological uh, flora, I can't really think of a form of life that can't be used by a planet as like a psionic amplifier or antenna if it becomes in alignment with them. Uh, same thing if you were to unite all your bacteria in your body, you can amplify your abilities quite dramatically. Same thing with how certain lineages and uh, magic users or psionic users, whatever, have been able to cultivate awareness of uh, the micro life or at least a cloud of consciousness in their understanding if they don't have, like, electronic microscopes and they're going based off of intuition. Um, then uh, they'll learn how to program uh, and get the consciousness working with them. If you have... Uh, wanting to gain uh, awareness, control, uh, get everything in alignment, non-competition in your body, then you're kind of going to be in the process of doing commerce with the original spirit that brought that bacteria or virus in as either a neutral or invading force or whatever, and then do commerce with it so that it it benefits mutually from you uh interacting with that DNA technology that's being passed down to you and then you spiritually cleaning it up and getting it to the point where you can then have parts of yourself that you've naturally collected or whatever to do this job to incarnate into those uh, bacterial bodies fractally so that they can program them automatically much symbolically easier and then get everything up like a city where all even the macro things are flourishing and it helps the body in health wise in like probiotics to the max to where like you have little uh, Jedi's going around in your body uh, helping things just by being there or uh, getting influenced to migrate to a different part of the body carry through the bloodstream all this different stuff uh. <laughs> so that's a very so, interesting that's point very that interesting you're talking about point that- that uh, you're uh, dealing with your your the bacteria, the the, the flora and fauna on your body, as if the, as if it was uh, in fact that it is um, a planetary uh, level amount of beings, even though they're really really tiny, uh, and establishing good relationships with them. That's you know because most of the time people fight their body, don't they? They hate their body. And then that is get felt just as if uh, the Earth is getting attacked and we feel it uh, get fracked down to us in like what each of the bacterial bodies or us can handle at the time and as they grow to be able to handle more and develop as a lineage technology that um, 
uh, evolves to stimuli. Um, and people have gone really witchy with this and been able to make very powerful bacterial protection psionically for themselves where they become immune to pretty much anything that comes their way. We're already like plague carriers on this planet. We get like large, like huge dramatic overloads of microflora on this planet uh, of all these different creations uh, that overload us at some points, but also increase our immunity and our resilience quite dramatically. You've also pretty much heard that like it's host of plagues because we're what we're a nightmare to take. Uh, I mean, this is for good reason too, because it, it keeps our, us from being abducted all the time and stolen off planet because we can cause outbreaks of plagues because we're what we're immune to other beings aren't immune to at all so uh yeah there's a lot of stuff with that too in responsibility and how we can learn how to unite even the most weaponized viruses and then create a counter chest move to whatever is keeping them going in that parasitic expression because you can pretty much program any parasitic being to becoming symbiotic by healing it and making it aware that it has more options than what has been instinctively programmed and passed down to it that is all that it knows so that's or interesting abused that or what process is healing the traumatized bacteria and other beings that live in and around us um because they've all been as traumatized as we are, and we're all walking around uh, complete uh, PTSD messes and not even knowing. Right, yeah. It's and like somebody slipped as... acid into the water, you know, LSD into the water, and nobody knows that everybody's <laughs> tripping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a great map. Um uh, archaea, um, virus, fungus, bacteria, bacteriophage, which are like the, 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 the viruses that infect viruses, like they're even smaller, worms, parasites, uh, anchored, uh, energetic parasites that have a higher level of sentience into bacteria, or even like with or without, uh, bodies that are anchored in if they're uh, attacking somebody, because they can, attack somebody without an anchored body, but it makes it easier to survive and continue. Also, they're rare, so you don't want to just, like, kill them off or anything. You want to cut, um, event, if you can heal and unite and, uh, resolve whatever, then that's the best thing, because, uh, uh, parasitic beings, once they're healed, they go back into light, uh, and become a light being again, and, um, that's a pretty unique symbiotic relationship between like you could I, I can scan for anyone that has uh, rare types of bacteria that have higher levels of sentience that have higher control over where their uh, micro bodies go um, and how they can travel through the body there's whole DNA lineages of psionic beings that uh, connect to us as a species that have gone good at controlling bacteria um, in both positive and negative, like plague uh, mastery or even healing any kind of uh, illness um, <clears throat> by outbreeding uh, with probiotics uh, is like the whole science in that. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, I found, uh, besides the mitochondria, I was looking for other rep representations of soft, soft disclosure for, uh, the metachlorian concept too. Uh, there was a lot more than just that, but that's like still pretty much the best representation for it based on what they're trying to give away and hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <clears throat> In the cell, I don't, I don't, haven't really heard of these. Uh, in science, so I'd, I'd love to see if anyone could find this out, but it's what I tune into, and it seems to be a common theme amongst a large amount of the cells, where, like, I found 
nine different types, including the mitochondria of symbiotic bacteria that exist in the cell as like a symbiotic relation that, that formed through evolution for the benefit of uh, cellular organisms growing up to work as a whole. Uh, some of them exist that, like, the other eight are way smaller than the mitochondria and are very hard to see, so I'd, I'd wonder how they'd be able to see it, and then they form, uh, like, armor around them, or they exist in, like, ribosomes, uh, the cell membrane, nucleus, different parts of the cell's makeup. Uh, for particular functions like for dealing with al- alchemical changes, uh, like feeding on certain um, elements and then putting together compounds and producing bacteria and some for dissolving fat and putting uh, its, its change into like fatty acids. There's... Uh, a bunch of different stuff I found, so I went into that, and um, that can be very much psionically amplified, as including the concept of being able to turn your white blood cells and the way they get formed and increase that capacity and their intelligence. So they're not just like going based on impulse; they have like a, a greater sensitivity to what they're going after where they can feel when there, there's something, a problem going on in the body and they'll automatically go there. It's kind of like Jedi white blood cells. I love that. And that'd be I love awesome. That. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I also went... So... Um, oh, yeah. Here, here is a good one I found. Here's the other really close idea to the... Um, Metachlorin besides mitochondrial. Uh, elemental bacteria, which goes into, there are certain types of bacteria that physically exist that have lineages of technology and upgrades put into them where they can interact with elemental energy. They'll usually be limited quite a lot by whatever environmental factors they're going on in their, um, chess move games and be limited to their prevailing element that they were born with as their their the best thing they're at they're good at um and then though if somebody if they got in in unity with a symbiotic host to where they amplify their ability to heal quite dramatically they can then expand upon that and they amplify the host ability. They're quite sentient as well. It's kind of like the... And these are rare. Not everyone has them, just so you know. Uh, and they also don't want every almost anyone to know about them. Um, I treat them with the utmost respect. They have a huge amount of intelligence, and they branch it, uh, like, as, as, uh, like, as one spirit branched into, like, millions of bacteria. And then they travel, and they can they can influence their bodies really well. So they can travel through a host pretty easily. So like, oh, okay, uh, you ha- have overtoxicity with like lead, for instance. And if you had a lead elemental bacteria and you had a good relationship with them, they survive by, um, they have the capacity to digest the lead and then use that as a compound to continue their lineage and bodies um, through their life cycles. So that as an instance, you could then become in a relationship with your bacteria and direct them to uh, symbiotically go throughout your body, eat up all the lead, lead that's like blockages in the lymphatic system, the veins, the bloodstream, wherever it is, um, and then get get rid of those and it be a part of its journey. So they're very reactive and that's, it's like the, the wet dream of biologists for the, it's also kind of like the concept what, with what, uh, scientists want nanobots to be in how they could 
go throughout the body and heal things very quickly. But like, you know how that can be used very negatively easily. Um, so it's kind of like that. Uh, so, uh, be very respectful to your bacteria. Some of it has higher intelligence. Um, some of it is, uh, tr- uh, programmed to be parasitic or negative, but like, uh, it's, they're mostly abused at that point. So they, they don't, uh, they don't know. And so if you can gain a better relationship with them and heal them and get to the point they, where they don't have to seal their stuff, and, and they can make it themselves and they can make their own light, then that's great for the world because it can then amplify the world's ability to uh, gain a greater immunity to things and uh, flourish and thrive in every scale of life, which I, I'd love to see. That's fantastic. Sean, we've uh, run out of time, but uh, this has been a fascinating journey deep into the sentience that lies within our bodies. Thank you very much. Thank you.